What's up Beach Bums? In this video I learned that my microphone was not working so I have a lot of footage without audio so I've got some voiceovers that I'll do in some of the shots explaining what's going on. But had a nice day on the beach. It was raining and a little bit chilly but caught some fish. Had a good time. Here it is. up a small piece of shrimp on a Carolina rig. Bottom rigs have been kind of slow. And finally got a hit on one of my Pompano rigs sitting on the bottom so I had to run down the beach and grab the rod. And it was a whiting which was the first fish of the day. I was excited about that. I was planning on keeping fish today so I did keep this one. He was a decent size. And the bite picked up from there, started catching a few more. This was another whiting on the Pompano rig. If you notice, look at the rod right beside me. It starts going off, so I throw that down pretty fast and run over and grab this rod. And I realize that it's a decent fish, definitely not a whiting. And he's pulling pretty good. Couldn't see it for a while, but finally got it to the beach. And it was my first cow nose ray, so that's why I wanted to show this. I know it's not anything super exciting, but it was my first time ever catching one, so it was neat to see one up close in person. And I'm working diligently to try to get this unhooked and had some difficulties with that. As you can see, I wanted to show this part uh, that, that I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of running back to, to my card and getting some tools. I take it pretty seriously trying to get these fish unhooked that I'm not going to keep and get them back in the water as quickly as possible. And you see I'm, I'm moving with a sense of urgency trying to get this fish back in the water safely. And I just feel it's important if we're not going to keep these fish to, to do what we can to try to preserve them and get them back as quickly and as safely as possible, which he was. Here I'm explaining where I'm casting with the Carolina rig and the small piece of shrimp. Right where those waves are breaking on shore, right behind that, there's that tiny little ledge and whiting hang out there feeding on the cochina shells and sand fleas. So it's a great place to pick off some whiting. And it does pay off for me here in just a second. We're hooked up, not a real big whiting. Uh, but I do end up keeping this one because he did swallow the hook. This next shot, I'm switching over to the GoPro audio because I did take off the microphone because of the rain. Okay, I'm back with you. Wind noise and all. I got the mic off. So I'm back to waterproof. So if it rains, not a big deal. It's just going to be a little chilly. But we're going to keep this guy. He's pretty small, but we're already kept one small one and we've already got a couple. So. We're adding up here. And it's raining and it's really stinking cold. Dad gum. Raining. I mean, it's like, I think it was like 70 degrees today, but it is December. So it's been a little bit chilly. The water's cold, rain's cold. Not the most pleasant day fishing, but it's still fun. <laughs> Looks pretty nasty out there. It's still raining. It ain't bad. It's just cold. Well, the whiting were biting pretty good right until it started raining. Once this rain set in, they shut down. I haven't had anything since the rain got here. Finally had a bite. I think we got some slack. Finally had a bite with the rain. There we go. Got a fish. Got a fish. Come here, bud. And it's a little whiting. He's pretty small. Probably let this guy go. Need him to be a bit bigger. But hey, at least we got a fish. Maybe they'll start biting again. 
get a few more. Here you go. Okay, I turned the camera off instead of turning it on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hey, this feels pretty decent. What are you? It's a whining, should be a decent one. Yeah, it looks like. All right, there we go. Well, the rain stopped and the whiting started biting again. So that was pretty weird. They were biting right before the rain and once it's finally moved on out of here, they're biting again. So evidently whiting don't like rain. Small little fella. I, uh, I'm trying to put my mic back on the GoPro, so I didn't have it on me. But he'll he'll go back. Not gonna keep him. Still trying to get the mic back on, but got another keeper, so we'll put this one in the cooler. Maybe we can get this worked out. The mic picked up again, <laughs> so I'm trying to do too many things out here. But the fish is good. I love whiting, man. They fry up great. And the last fish of the day, I'm hooked up to something nice, and it's swimming extremely fast and, and going side to side, so I have a pretty good idea what it is. And I'm pretty excited in this shot, but of course you can't tell because I have no audio. But I think we all know what it probably is. It's my favorite fish to catch. It's a pompano. <laughs> I was excited about this because uh, they're not real thick in the surf this time of year. And I knew there was an off chance that I might hook up on one. So getting this one, I was pretty excited to pull this one up on the beach. I measured him. He was 14 inches total length, which in Alabama uh, we measure total length for regulations. But he was pretty thin here. And that's what I'm talking about. He uh, was probably the thinnest 14 inch pompano that I've ever caught. I'm explaining the spot that I was fishing today. It turned out pretty well. Caught a lot of whiting. Caught that one pompano. But there's a point coming off of the sandbar, and that's what I'm pointing to here, that was much shallower water that was fairly close to the beach, causing a lot of ripple and waves. And that's where I caught most of the fish was off of that point. That's where most of the whiting came from and the pompano. The pompano was just right in front of that point in that first trough. And there was a deeper pool to the left of that point butting up to the sandbar and it had a couple lines in there as well, caught a couple whiting out of it also. Thanks for checking out the video. I had a great day on the beach, even though it was raining. Caught a ton of whiting. Got the one pompano, which was my mission. That was my goal. I was hoping to at least get one. And, of course, caught my first cow nose ray, which was awesome. Pulled hard. Had a great fight with it. But, guys, as always, stay bummy.